Okay, we have a project and now it's time to create a team. Who is going to work on project? For that, I should choose the project for which I want to team and I'm going to choose project settings down here. Okay, and under teams, you will see that I already have a team and I didn't create it. It was created automatically. When you create a brand new project, you will have a team. So you can have multiple teams, okay, in a project, or you can have one, one team. It depends of how large your project is and how won't you manage your teams. Since this is basic and this is uh, the fifth uh, video which I am recording and I promised you in my intro video, number one, that I am going uh, to cover Azure DevOps step by step. For this purpose, I will only have one team, but I will show you how can you create a team. You can go to new team, you can have a team name, add members, description, administrator and permissions. Okay? And let me, let me say that, let me create a team from the very beginning and then I will erase this one. I will say, okay, this is ERP, let's say project team for ERP or let's say team for P ERP project with, because obviously I cannot have two teams, two different teams. Now I can here put member, members of this team. So I will say that it is John, it is Mary, it is Peter, it is Paula, and administrator, I'm administrator of this team. Okay, I have these rights, but I can exclude myself from a team. So I can administrate team, but I will not be part of this team. So I will not be, uh, uh, be able to have a task assigned to me or something like that. So if I want to be administrator and a part of the team, then I should leave this checked and it says add admins to a team as member. That's it. And now we have a permission. Okay. Permission is contributor. So I can here choose permissions. Okay. Or I can assign a, pe a people. Uh, uh, and if I click on here, I will see that I can be, th those things can be all project administrator, only readers with limited rights, contributors or build administrators. Th those groups are default, uh, uh, already built, and I will explain them uh, later in some of my videos. But for this, those are contributors. And I will say, create an area path, which is also be to explain in next video. So for this video, just remember, I'm creating a team, one team. I put the members, I have administrators and I will, I will uh, uh, choose permissions and then I create it. When I create this, I have a team. Okay. I have five members and now I can put this team as default and then I can go here I can go in this previous recorded and I can delete team so once again I have here ERP project team and team from ERP project I I cannot delete this one because it is default, but I create it as default and now I can go here 
and say, oh, I want this theme. I am going to settings and I will say delete the theme. And the theme has been deleted. If I go here, I, you will see that in settings, I cannot delete theme because this is the only theme which I get. And I have a members. On settings, what do we have? I can up upload image. I can put the description. I can choose who is going to be administrator. Very, very simple. So that's all for creating a team. Now I have a team for my ERP project. So who is going to work on that? Next time I will show you uh, and I will explain what is area path. Until then, have a nice day.